Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through the creation of um, this kind of uh, shape. Basically, um, I think it's like a wire and pipe kind of design. And this was actually inspired by um, another app called Vectory. And so this is like our guest app for today. And this is actually like an online 3D app. And the nice thing about it is that it's quite intuitive. It doesn't do too much, but it's quite interesting. I, I And I found maybe this can be like a great addition for Blender. Blender, of course, is offline and all the data is yours. I think Vectory, you are saving your project online, but you can always um, export it. You can always export your 3D model as OBJ, STL, DAE. You can even export it as GLB. I really like this feature and I think and with Vectory, you actually, it says pay with share. It's actually um, interesting. So, but for now, I, I want to show you something. Uh, in Vectory, there's a there's a way that <clears throat> that you can create um, interesting shape. Uh, and the way it works is actually kind of interesting. Maybe uh, Blender artists can learn and maybe can make something that that looks like this in Blender. And there's something called plug-in in Factory, and the other day I look at it and then I saw this join and wires. Okay, it's, it's not called wires and pipes. It's called joints and wires. This is actually really cool. So the way it works in Factory is that um, for whatever layer you are working on, if we have objects on layer one, for example, we can add this this thing like uh, this is almost like modifier and if I'm not wrong, I just select this thing, select the layer or something, and then just hit add. Oh, it's not doing anything. Interesting. So I, I create another empty layer, but I believe my object is on layer one. Okay, there you go. It's doing its job. This is Vectory. Uh, joints and wires. I really quite like the, the design and I really want to recreate this in Blender, something similar. So like uh, you already see here, I'm doing it. It's not like perfect, especially this part where it's joined. There's the joint. The joint is actually, I'm using skin modifier, uh, but you kind of get the idea. It's very, very similar to this. This one is a bit more, uh, how, how should I say? It's a bit more detail and it looks like a real pipe and wires but but for now it's okay we're gonna uh, use this idea okay back to blender start from scratch I'm gonna delete everything file save as um, what is it called join wire vectory you can always use vectory but uh, I think I tried it with Suzanne it's actually faster to do it in blender if you you kind of have the technique. Um, I'm gonna be using Spray Chalk add-on as well. I'm gonna be using nodes. So it's gonna be kind of interesting. The step-by-step -step process is not actually that complicated. Okay, so this is our icosphere generated using Spray Chalk nodes. I can change the subdivision. I'm gonna use the subdivision one, okay. We can change the radius, etc. Um, the idea here is that we know that uh, we we have skin modifier, and skin modifier can kind of make the join. If you have like the branching edges, it's gonna convert it. But yeah, if it's a if it's something like this, and then we we create a skin modifier, and then go to edit mode, and then Control A, and then scale it. We kind of have the joint, right? But we kind of want to make a cut whenever there is like a pipe or connecting, just like the vectory. So we're gonna do that using spread chalk. How do we actually do that? So let's see. Um, we have vertices and we have edges. We can use um, split edges. If I pipe in the vertices and edges, we can use mirror 
and let's look at the result. Actually, by default, there is no mirror. It's, it's just going to make a split on the edge and the middle there. This actually can be useful as well, but for what we are doing, we want it to be like a mirror. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, uh, if we actually check this using viewer index, I believe if we check the edges uh, number, you can see sort of pattern. So the middle is say 64 and it's also say 76. For everything that's actually like um, with index number, uh, with the even number, it's actually or there is some kind of pattern uh, with the index so I'm gonna show it to you using the um, list mask I believe so I think list mask out we can pipe in the edges or actually rather use list item first I wanna show it to you that uh, there is some kind of pattern so look at this, that's a 0, 1, 2, the one in the middle, see, we have three edges for one uh, for the original one edge, so for every edge, we have some kind of pattern, you can see short, 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 long, short, we actually want to get the one that's in the middle or something, so we can use list mask in spreadshop um, and use some kind of pattern to get the line that's in the middle or the lines that's uh, at the at the junctions there so let's use this input and create this kind of uh, pattern zero one zero let's see if this actually work Okay, there we go. Sorry, um, we actually able to select the line that's in the middle, or we can get the line that's actually the junctions. This is exactly what we need. And for uh, for skin modifier, uh, this is actually pretty much what we need. This is the line, and this is the edges. Turn on live, change the radius. And we have our join. We probably need to clean it up, so delete loose. Maybe we don't need, but uh, just in case. Not too big, but uh, okay, something like that. That's pretty cool, right? Skin modifier is doing its job, and all we need now is a uh, if we maybe change the radius make it a bit bigger so we have we can have a bigger joint so that's a bit nicer and for the opposite one so data this is our points data and the edges data we can now connect it um, using pipe so our pipe we can use pipe so this is the points data, this is the edges data, just connect it and play with the size here. Turn off close, turn off cup fill. This size actually, uh, one of them is controlling the length, the other two is controlling the radius. So we can use a float controlling the radius and we can change this to round as well. It's become like a cylinder. So now we get a pipe. Usually the pipe is smaller in radius. So there you go. That's actually pretty much done. We recreated the 
um, the join and wires design a la vectory using spare chalk add-on so let, let's call this I'll, I'll credit vectory for this is vectory is very interesting um, app actually I kind of want to show it to you because there are a couple of things that vectory can do like vectory can create uh, wheels and also it has these plugins for Google phones so you can use a lot of uh, different fonts they are all offered open source I don't know who owns factory Google or Facebook I don't know who owns it but it seems like open source and then you can also um, kind of um, use it for commercial if you share it so it's still um, an interesting tools and you can import and export data very easily so that's one thing okay remember uh, in if we are because we are using nodes see we can always just gonna ch uh, just change this increasing resolutions etc so that's uh, that's cool one thing that we want to do is also uh, so we, we need to have uh, vertices and edges here right but uh, at any time in point we can also use polygon you just need to convert it poly to edge polygon or face to edge there's one uh, okay there, there you go polygon to edges so if we have just vertices and polygon you can use this polygons to edges to change the the data for now you just provide vertices and edges and you can you can have this uh, join and wire design very very easily this should come in handy well sometimes it's maybe not like super perfect but uh, it's still something you know let's bake it out bake and yep so that's the bake version So the join can be improved but uh, that's as good as skin modifier can do at some point I'll maybe try so that uh, we can have design that's a little bit more robust or I mean more precise with with the join but there you go as an example this is I think it's quite all right it's a uh, it's the logic is there so hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think. If you have any more um, ideas or something to add, let me know. Uh, so maybe we can have a better result here with skin modifier. But there you go. That's a, that's a quick way you can have join and wires a la Vectory. Or you can just, just use Vectory, like I said. Uh, and there's no problem with that. This is look, this going to look a bit nicer if you 3D print it. So. Okay, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.